North and South Korea have been at war technically for 60 years and there have been a few small skirmishes but no major armed conflict and that's partly because of South Korea's alliance with the United States who is after all uh, the world's only current superpower. So for North Korea to pick a fight with the United States and South Korea most analysts believe is pretty unlikely. Um, also I should let you know that um, South Korean workers have been allowed into the joint industrial complex just inside North Korea this morning which goes to show that even though North Korea says it's in a state of war, um, industrial operations are still continuing as normal. Having said that, of course, this situation is very unpredictable. And what many people here are worried about is a kind of accidental escalation that comes out of this kind of war of words that we've been seeing. Lucy, um, there's bound to be international reaction. Everyone keeping their eyes in this. Um, we've got America, China, Russia, Japan. What's everyone saying? Washington has said that it takes these comments very seriously, but of course it's also been saying that North Korea is, uh, has a pattern of intimidating its neighbours, of saying these kinds of things without carrying them out. Uh, Russia and China have both been urging calm uh, for no one to make any sudden moves, and I think that's very much the feeling here on the peninsula. That, that the danger is, as I said, North Korea and America are locked in a kind of who blinks first game, and that countries around the, the region are quite worried about where where that sort of miscommunication, where that kind of tension might lead, be it accidentally or not.